Hello, this is Jonathan Ferbatas, and today I'll show you how to implement analog input control for Dynamixel actuators using the Arduino IDE. Accepting input for control of actuators is an important part of robotic design to allow direct control of the robot or allow it to respond to external environments. Arduino-based microcontrollers offer a wide array of options to integrate external inputs, and today I'll show you how to implement analog input control for Dynamixel actuators. Before we get started, let's go over the parts required for this example if you'd like to follow along at home. First, you'll need a Dynamixel actuator to test with and an Arduino compatible microcontroller. Both of these components are included in the OpenRB Dynamixel starter set, which is what I'll be using for today's testing. You'll also need an analog sensor that can connect with your Arduino. In this video, I'll be using a rotary potentiometer. The last thing you'll need to follow along is the example program that I'll be using in this video, which is available on my personal GitHub repo in the video description. Before we move on to the program, let's quickly go over the connections you'll need to get your potentiometer talking with your Arduino controller. You'll need three wires to connect a standard 3-pin potentiometer to your Arduino controller. The first pin on the potentiometer should be connected to the 5 volt output on the Arduino. This supplies the power needed for the potentiometer's operation. The second pin, in the middle, should be connected to the analog input pin you'll be using to read the output from the potentiometer. In this particular example, I've connected mine to pin A6, but you can connect yours to any analog input pin available on your microcontroller. Just remember which pin you use so that you can specify it in your code. The third pin needs to be connected to the ground pin of the Arduino to complete the electric circuit. For a simple potentiometer like this one, that's all you'll need to get everything working but different analog inputs may require more complicated wiring solutions. Now that you've got everything ready, let's see what this example program does before moving on to the code breakdown. Now that we've seen the program run, let's move on to the explanation. First, we have the standard Dynamixel to Arduino initialization code from the setup function. I currently have line 51 commented out, so the sketch will run without waiting to open the debug console, but I'd recommend enabling that line when testing the application or your own custom Dynamixel sketch to ensure that you can catch everything on the serial monitor. The first line here is a call to the built-in Arduino analog read function sending the analog val global variable to the value received from reading the specified analog input pin, A6 in this specific case. The analog val variable is then used to decide which of the three operating modes the sketch will enter on startup. The modes included in this sketch are example of using external input to control position, rotational velocity, and compliance path. The conditional statement here uses the position of the potentiometer to enter one of those modes. A low value sets the mode to position control, where the position of the actuator matches the position of the potentiometer. A high value enables current control velocity mode, using the potentiometer's position to control the rotational speed and output torque of the dynamics. If neither of the previous modes are entered, then the actuator goes into position-based current mode, and the potentiometer is used to adjust the amount of compliance. Each of these three operating modes contains a short infinite loop that takes care of the actual Dynamixel control. So let's take a look at that to see some more specifics about using analog input to control Dynamixel circuits. The first two lines in each of the nested loops are how we read and interpret the analog signal from the connected input. In particular, the second line uses Arduino's built-in map function to convert the values reported from the analog sensor into a range that we need for each of our Dynamixel goal write functions. Arduino's analog sensor readings range from 0 to 1024, 
So being able to translate that input range to match the expected range for dynamics or control functions is essential. In the case of position mode, the values are mapped to the dynamics or position range of 0 to 4096, the equivalent of multiplying the analog input value by 4. In the two current base mode, the values are instead mapped to a percentage value for a specification of the goal torque to output. After converting the input values to better conform to the ranges used to control the dynamics rules, we can send commands the same way that we have before. This simple example is a great starting point for you to create your own sketch utilizing analog inputs to control your Dynamics actuators. If you'd like some more information about the technical aspects of Dynamics rules or the Dynamics with the Arduino library, check out the Robotis eManual. To see more Arduino IDE example programs, check out Robotis' official GitHub. And if you'd like to share your own creation or get some help from Dynamics experts, stop by the Robotis community forum. This has been Jonathan with Robotis and I look forward to building more with you soon.